guys. Uh, in this video we're going to go over how uh, to make some sub pages for our theme settings page. Uh, as you can see some of these like appearance have sub pages like themes, customize, editor. What if we wanted to do some sub pages for theme settings such as you know possible general, uh, maybe something like a header or footer just to get those general styles in there. If you want you could keep it all on this general page but if you want things to be a little bit more organized you have that option as well so if you come back over to the ACF documentation you can see that you know they have this function here which also takes an argument of, array, of an array uh, with some different settings and rules here um, if we go ahead and add this guy to our functions file uh, theme header settings is the page title. The menu title is going to be header. Um, so let's change this to navigation. And the parent slug, slug is theme general settings. So this basically tells it that this sub page is going to be under this main page here. So you can see theme general settings is the menu slug. And the parent slug is the general setting, so you know that when you hover over a certain area, that that will pop up. Let's go ahead and save that, come back to our back end here. Alright, so we got our theme settings tab here, and we got our navigation here as well. So this navigation page is actually going to need its own custom field group, so we'll call this navigation um, options page. Field and we'll put the navigation background color under this page and we'll make it a color picker. Alright, and then we'll set the uh, options page to the navigation. Awesome. So now if we come back to the navigation, you'll be able to see that we've got um, the navigation background color on here, and then we also have it uh, on here. So, you know what, let's go into this custom field for the theme settings, the general, and let's change this to uh, just a body background color. Color and it's still a color picker. I think there's the same. We're gonna update that. We're gonna come back into our theme settings and we're going to set the body background to something like that. Update. And then now we'll come back into our let's see header.php. Here we'll say body background is going to be and we'll set it as an option. Alright, there's that. And then this background color is going to still be the navigation background. So now you can see that that's going on, and you can tell that it's just a lovely combination there for colors. Um, let's see. So that's how you set up um, two different options pages. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to be going over um, some more of the advanced um, custom field inputs that you can do. And other things that are uh, possible with this uh, advanced custom fields plugin. Uh, it's really an awesome plugin, and if you don't use it for your WordPress development, it really should. It definitely speeds you up. It's one of the most uh, up to date plugins there is. Whenever there's an update to WordPress, they're always right there with them updating, and it really makes the WordPress um, a great content management system for your clients. It makes it really easy for them. It's not too um, cumbersome for them to like look through and find things it's really awesome if you like the video leave a like 
if you have a question, leave a comment, and uh, definitely subscribe. Um, all right, guys, that's it. Peace.